Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to go through a little bit what uh, the sync function does in Scalar 2. And also we're going to put in practice a little bit what we learned from the previous tutorial on the perform mode. Before I continue, I'd like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So we are inside the UM and let's create an audio channel and let's select Scalar 2 as the product we want to use, like so. Okay, let's open it up and maximize the window. Perfect. Now let's select the scale. So we go to scale and let's this time select something like G minor. Okay, and let's select that scale. And we are fine with triads for the purpose of the tutorial. So let's select some chords. And just as a reminder, section C here at the bottom is where you build your patterns, okay? And I will create a dedicated tutorial on how these work, actually more than one tutorial. But for now, let's select some chords from which I created based on the G minor scale. So G minor. Yeah, I click and drop, uh, uh, drag and drop the B flat major as well. Like that one as well. So click, hold, drag and drop. Yeah, why not this one? Let's activate the loop in here and let's click play to listen to the chord progression we have created so far. Perfect. Now let's select the perform mode and let's create a melody. So let's go up to the top of the hierarchy. Let's select the melody and let's go to commons. And why not? Let's select the first one. Okay. And instead of, uh, well, let's try first to see what it sounds like there. That's nice, actually. But I'm going to change the piano to grand piano, like so. And I'm going also to uh, remove the chord and I'm going to have only melody. Perfect. Now, that could be the start of a song, four chords progression, right? So now let's exit uh, that instance of Scalar 2 and let's create another audio channel and let's load another instance of Scalar 2. Okay, like so. Now, that instance is empty, as you can see, right? Now, let's say that I want to use the same chord progression that I have created in the previous audio channel and therefore in the previous instance of Scalar 2, right? So, well, one way would be to actually recreate this. So go to the second instance, select uh, the G minor scale, the same chords, and try to remember what chords I've selected. But there is an easier way. So let's go for the first, uh, let's go to the first instance which will become the source. Then let's click here on the menu and then uh, let's click on the sync. Now here it will say zero other instances, but if you wait a moment as it did, it will say there is another instance connected to uh, this instance of Scalar 2. And then you can select here what you want to sync or copy to the other instance. So in this case, we're going to select progression uh, builder section C, click on sync. Okay, then we click outside, go to the other instance, and voila, we have that uh, fantastic uh, progression recreated. Now, on this second instance, we are going to change the sound to a bass. We're going to activate the perform mode, and we're going to select a bass melody. Like so. Um, couple of bass, maybe number 10, basic 10. Let's click play. Now that sounds good. It would be nice if both instances would play according to the transport control of AUM. So I go in this instance like so, I go to settings, I go to those sync and I and activate it. And then next I go to the menu here, sync. And I say, do sync, sync it with the other instance. Perfect. So I click outside, go back to the, to the beginning on the transport control of AUM and I click play. Of 
course, there is another way to achieve the same. Let's duplicate the channel. So click here and duplicate. Now we have a, a new instance, which is duplicate. You can see the same code progression. And also you can see that the door sync actually is off. So we can turn it on. Okay. So next here, what we're we going to do, we're going to change the sound here to a guitar. Why not an acoustic guitar? Okay. And um, in here, we're going to choose um, um, a strummed sequence. We're going to go for fast, maybe 13. And we're going to alternate direction and let's try and let's put in in loop mode. Okay, and let's click play. Okay, perfect. Maybe we want to decrease a little bit of the volume of that guitar. Maybe a little bit of a touch through drums. So let's load, for example, something like Digistick, like so. Okay, like so. Let's open up the screen. Host to sync, scroll down, and then create very quickly a drum patterns like so. Why not with some bass drums there and some closed hat? And let's click play. you can see how easy it is to start creating a song using the same chord uh, uh, progression and you've seen how to use the um, sync function from the menu here I remember you have other selection you can sync the selected sound the articulation key lock voicing group humanize the selected scale really nice but also the playback loop section the chord duration, and the entire state, which is really nice. So there's a lot that you can do there. But of course, you have seen also how to duplicate audio channel, another way to have that chord progression already ready for you in Scalar 2. So as you can see, you have a lot of possibility, and it's so easy to create or to start the creation of a new song, of course, using chords, selecting scale, etc. And remember, you can also do detection from sounds, which is really fantastic. So it gives you lots and lots of different options. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.